From the lines last week, it's evident the iPad is a hot product. The question this week is whether the new iPad is a hot product, literally. It's better to have a cooler product. I mean, no one's going to tell you it's better to have a hotter product. So, CNET senior editor Eric Franklin put the new iPad and the previous model, the iPad 2, to the test. I ran a game, a very highly intensive, very graphically impressive game on both, both systems for 15 minutes at the highest brightness. And then I turned the iPads over and took measurement re readings from five different points on the back. The new iPad only got up to maybe around 94 in our tests. Earlier this week, an Apple representative told CNET that the new iPad's display, power, connectivity, and battery life all operated well within thermal specifications. But if customers have concerns, they can contact AppleCare. It doesn't seem to be any warmer than laptops. Laptops actually tend to get a little bit hotter. You're holding the, the, the iPad, you're holding the tablet, you, you're feeling with your hands. In fact, CNET editors in New York ran heat tests on a variety of laptops and found that the Apple MacBook Pro registered the same or slightly higher temperatures than the Dell or Toshiba. So here's the bottom line. I think it's just going to blow over. People will realize it's just a warmer iPad. I think it's being blown out of proportion. Um, electronics products get hot. The simplest fix CNET experts say, use a case and turn down the screen brightness. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.